Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we're a bit behind, please apologize. Um, it's been very difficult uh, with everything that's going on. Everyone's trying to get in their appointments. For those of you guys that are trying to book for consultations, we are now booking for uh, the end of June, beginning of July, just putting it out there and letting you guys know that we're quickly filling up. So if you guys are trying to get your readings, now is the time to reach out. Um, as like I said, we're quickly booking. Also, uh, for those of you guys that are waiting on responses through email or social media in regards to spell work, please be patient. Uh, we are a bit behind, but we will get to each and every single one of you guys. Okay. All right. This reading is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance for the remaining of May, going into the first two weeks of June. So let's get on with your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. All right, so your first card is Wisdom. Second card is Change. And new beginnings. Wow. Okay. New newness of energy in regards to your love and romance. Now the cards of your person or the person of your interest is action. We have miracles. Okay. So there's destiny here involved for some of you guys. And we have focus. Okay. All right. So what they're saying here, for those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a while, you have wisdom card. This is an indication of looking back or analyzing where you've been and where you're at right now in regards to love and romance. So what they're telling you here, Leo, is to take the experiences in stride. There is some type of behavior, perhaps some type of personality that you're very attracted to that in the past you've connected on multiple occasions and it didn't work out. And what they're telling you here is that there is a need for change in regards to what you consider attractive or what you consider um, a potential partner. Now, for those of you guys that just recently broke up, this could represent getting to a point of often asking yourself, like, where did you go wrong or why it just didn't work out? What Spirit is telling you is that you're at a point in your life, Leo, where experiences, you've gone through them, uh, perhaps in a multitude of ways, not just in relationships, but in connections with friends, with family, with relatives. And what they're telling you is use this wisdom, use this knowledge um, of past experiences that di that didn't go any further. Um, are you attracted to a specific type of person, a, a, a specific personality? Are you vulnerable to uh, what you would consider an ideal uh, partner is for you? It, it, it's about going within yourself. It's about self-analyzing the decisions you've made in the past in order to get a different outcome. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that you tend or have a tendency of falling or going after people that are unemotionally unavailable to you. Uh, this could be through distance, doesn't have to be uh, like completely emotional. It could just be that they have a tendency of coming and going. Uh, distance could be involved, but not necessarily. This can also mean uh, people that just don't show or are not willing to open up. And you keep hoping or thinking you're able to change them um, or vice versa, Leo. Keep this in mind. It is a general reading. Uh, but someone is stuck in the mud and is not wanting to progress or it's not wanting to learn. And what they're telling you is there's a need for change. Now, you have two options, Leo. Either you continuously keep waiting on a person that doesn't want to change or you take it in stride, take it as experience and move on from that. There is change coming to you. There's new beginnings. So love is definitely a possibility for you. And I'm not talking about that toxic type of love. I'm talking about that connection where there is equality, where there it does. You don't feel necessarily that you're alone in a relationship and it shouldn't be that way. And if that's the case, then why be in a relationship? 
Um, they're saying there's change here. There's new beginnings coming to you. But ultimately, the one that decides where your path goes is you, meaning it is up to you to make wise decisions based on the people that you are giving an opportunity to or that you're getting to know. And like I said, when you start to see them red flags, run the other way, okay? It's time to grow up, Leo. Stop giving people the opportunity. Stop giving people chances, more than one chance. Enough is enough. You have to learn to self-love yourself. You have to learn the value that you have and what you bring to the table so you don't settle for mediocre type of connections. Now, in regards to the person that you're dealing with or the person of your interest, there is action and miracles here and focus. I feel that for some of you guys, it could be a person coming from a distance, uh, not necessarily a, it could be a foreign person, someone that is uh, not in their motherland or that this is not their motherland, but yet they are coming or visiting or moving uh, here, meaning where you're at. Um, miracles is a, indica a major indication of destiny and focus. I feel that this person uh, may be traveling or may be coming around because they are either on a mission to accomplish something. It could be that they are um, changing residency because of work uh, to pursue a career for others. It could be that they their profession is leading them um, to where you're at or to where the country that you're in. Um, but primarily, I see them extremely focused and determined in achieving goals. And this is the energy that's coming towards you. This is a new, uh, a new opportunity, a new energy, meaning a new person that will be coming into your life. Like I said, this person could be extremely motivated or they could be extremely physical, meaning like they're very active. If you're not in the very active, you know, area, um, they could come off as a bit intimidating. But again, there is a need for you to do changes, Leo. So keep an open mind and an open heart. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, you guys keep going through these roller coasters, ups and downs, and it could be because the partner could have lack of action, meaning they're not really trying. Perhaps they're comfortable. Perhaps they've gotten to the point where they're content and there is frustration in you. Perhaps uh, you're wanting to achieve goals or you're wanting to push them to achieve goals. Nonetheless, I feel that they may have lost their, their way or their focus. Uh, what they're telling you here, Leo, is that you need to understand when it comes to relationships, you can be the mother or you can be their father. You can baby them. It is up to them to make those decisions. And if they choose not to change and to be comfortable or to sit back and not want to accomplish more in their lives, perhaps it's time you ask yourself or you, you know, really analyze and think, is this the perfect person for you? Or do you feel that you're settling down based on comfortability? Maybe you're comfortable. Maybe you don't want to start all over. But ultimately, what they're saying is it's not so much about what they're not doing at this point. It has to do with what you're doing, meaning are you settling or are you wanting to be their mother or their father trying to baby them? And if that's the case, then you need to make the decision either to continue being on this journey where you're taking responsibilities. If you guys have children, not only the responsibility of your children, but also of being the father or mother figure in this relationship. Um, so again, like I said, basically what they're saying is it's time for you to really question if you're happy in this relationship. And if you're not, what is it that you're doing to change the outcome? If you sit there and wait for them to be the one to pick up their where they're slacking, um, it could be, you know, a never ending cycle of emotional roller coaster for you, Leo. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.